Well, so I was having a bit of a tidy up. I found this chap who I carved a while ago. I seem to have not gotten around to making him many clothes. Um, but I thought it was a good one to show because it's this is what I'd call the anatomy of a, a basic wooden marionette. And I do stress the word basic before anyone says, you know, where's his upper arms and why hasn't he got a joint in his body and all that sort of thing. This is a good starting point. And this is what you'll see particularly when you have a, a marionette that's going to be wearing clothes, you can replace the top part of the arm with a cord. Now, that gives you good arm mobility. Now, OK, it might not be realistic arm movement, but you get a lot of free movement, which is why, as I said, these are quite good for beginner uh, builds and beginner puppeteers as well, so you're not limited to you know the necessarily perfect re perfectly real movements. So let's have a quick look at how this is put together. The feet here, or shoes in this case, there's no joint in the ankle, so the lower leg goes straight down and is fixed into the shoe. We've got a joint at the knee which can bend beyond 90 degrees. You want really want a bit more than 90 degrees if possible. We've got a very simple joint at the hips here. I've just used a couple of screws that go all the way through. You could use a threaded rod or something like that. This only allows for forwards and backwards movement of the leg. It doesn't allow any sideways play in the hip. But again, for beginner puppeteers, it's, it's good. You get a nice walking motion when you can when you're you're limiting the legs to just that movement okay you might depending on what your puppet you what what you want your puppet to do if you want it to dance around more and that sort of thing then you you would look at that separately but as as i said to start with not a bad way to go a single piece body cord for upper arms and carved lower lower arms so the clothing the sleeve would come down to here would hide the cord and allow for the movement on the arm. There's a slight variation in the what I would call a very basic marionette in the fact that I've got a separate neck piece here. Quite often you'd see the neck being part of the body or being part of the head so you just have one pivot point between the neck and the head. I've actually got two because I've got a separate piece so I've got a cord that runs through the top of the head here through this neck piece and into the body so again just for, allows for a bit more head mobility on there. Now if we go a bit closer in on the head hopefully you can see there I've painted him but I've left the some of the tooling marks here so you can still see that he's carved from wood so although he's got paint I like to do just washes of paint don't like to put the paint on too thick. I prefer to just wash it on a little. This is perhaps even a little thicker than I normally do. But I like to, if possible, show the wood texture, the grain, and the tooling marks a little bit on there as well. You can smooth it over, of course. You can sand it all so it's really nice and smooth. And if you want to go for more hyper real puppet, you'd probably do that. But as I'm carving them out of wood, I like people to see you know that they're made of wood by, and I sort of use that as, as part of the design so again here we've got some flat faces on the neck here it's not perfectly rounded and on the shoes as well you can see here that there's sort of facets or carved flat planes onto the shoes it just gives it is that extra sort of aesthetic that it shows it's made of wood so as I say this is a good place to start. If you want to build your first puppet this is the sort of way you'd go about it. Try not to, unless you're very experienced in, in making other things, best not to go too much in at the deep end. So start with something like this and, and work your way up. So start with a basic build, just put the joints together that you need. Obviously this is for a, a human type figure but then once you've got that and you know how to build it, how it works, you can then look at some more detailed things like having a, a joint in the ankle, having a two-piece body and allowing 
more movement in the hips and you can obviously put your upper arm in all those sorts of things but as a starting point this is where to begin if you found this video helpful please click the like button and subscribe and if at all possible pop along to patreon and help me make more of these videos